In this video, you'll find six molar mass practice problems. As you go on, the practice problems, they become a little more difficult. The way to use the video, do one of the problems, say for CL2, and then go to the time listed there to make sure you have the correct answer. As you work your way through this video, you'll become better at finding the molar mass for different compounds. If you need some extra help, visit my video on molar mass in the description and at the end of this video. For Cl2, we go to the periodic table. We see that chlorine is 35.45 grams per mole. I won't write the units right now. We have two. This subscript means we have two chlorine atoms. So we'll multiply this by two. When we do that, we get 70.90, and our units are grams per mole. And that's the abbreviation. Note that this zero here, you do need to have that because you have two places after the decimal point here. So we do need to do the same. So that's the molar mass for Cl2, chlorine gas. For CH4, methane, we'll go to the periodic table. Carbon, that's 12.01 grams per mole, plus hydrogen is 1.01 grams per mole, and we have four hydrogen. So we'll multiply that 1.01 times four. When we do that, we have 12.01 plus 4.04, and we end up with a molar mass for CH4 of 16.05 grams per mole. For CaSO4, that's calcium sulfate, we'll go to the periodic table. Calcium is 40.08 grams per mole plus sulfur, 32.07 plus oxygen, is 16.00 grams per mole, and we have the four oxygens. So we have the 40.08 plus the 32.07 plus four times 16.00, that's 48, and we end up with a molar mass of 136.15 grams per mole for the molar mass of calcium sulfate, CaSO4. For aluminum hydroxide, we have something a little different here. We have these parentheses. And what that means is we'll add things up in the parentheses. We'll add the molar mass for oxygen and hydrogen, and then we'll multiply that by three. So the three applies to everything here in the parentheses. So let's do that. On the periodic table, aluminum, 26.98 grams per mole, plus, and let's put our parentheses here, oxygen, 16.00, plus hydrogen was the 1.01, .01, and we'll multiply all that by 3. When we do that, we get 26.98 plus 51.03 grams per mole, and the final molar mass is 78.01, put our units here, grams per mole. So that's the molar mass for ALOH3 aluminum hydroxide. We have a good bit going on here for iron three nitrate. So let's look at this. We have the NO3, we can do that. And once we get the molar mass for the NO3, the nitrate ion, we'll multiply that by three and add that to the mass for iron. So let's try this. We'll just write it out like the equation. We have 55.85 grams per mole. That's the molar mass for the iron. Plus, let's put parentheses here, nitrogen 14.01 grams per mole, plus the oxygen, we have three times 16.00, that's 48.00 grams per mole, and then we'll multiply everything by three. We do that, and we end up with 241.88 grams per mole. And that's the molar mass for iron three nitrate. So remember, when you have parentheses, you'll add the elements up and find the molar mass for what's inside the parentheses, and then you can multiply it by the subscript outside. This last one here, it's a bit odd. We have FeSO4, that's iron two sulfate, and then we have this dot here in a seven H2O. What that means is we have our FeSO4, our iron sulfate, and then we have seven water molecules around it. So the dot just means that there's water molecules, they surround the FeSO4. When we find the molar mass, we'll find it for the FeSO4, and we'll add seven times the molar mass of H2O. Let's do it. Iron 55.85 grams per mole, sulfur 
32.07 plus oxygen 16.00. We have four oxygens, so we'll put a four after that. Plus, let's put this down here, seven times hydrogen's 1.01, .01, and we have two of those, so that'd be 2.02, .02, plus the one oxygen, 16.00. So we can add this part here up. That gives us 151.92 grams per mole, plus the seven H2Os. That should equal 126.14 grams per mole. And when you add them together, you get 278.06 grams per mole at our units there. And that's the molar mass of iron 2 sulfate heptahydrate. This is Dr. B, and I hope this video helped you calculating molar mass. Thanks for watching.